folks. Welcome back to Mother Utter. And today we thought we'd give you a little tour of our animals and tell you a little bit about each of the different breeds that we have here. So come along with us. We hope you enjoy the tour. We keep a heritage breed of turkeys called Bourbon Reds. They are among one of the most popular breeds of heritage turkeys in the U.S. today, but are still on the Livestock Conservancy's watch list. Our big Tom is named Tom Sawyer. The younger Tom is named Junior. Our hens are named Juicy and Tasty. We like to have a bit of fun with the naming conventions. On our homestead, we raise Muscovy ducks. This duck can get about 80 to 90 percent of their food from the land, which greatly reduces our feed bill. They can raise between two and four clutches of 10 to 30 babies every year which is an incredible rate. Not only that, they're in high demand in our community. Muscovy ducks make an excellent bird for a first time homesteader because they are very friendly. They'll eat right out of your hand and they'll follow you anywhere. We love Muscovy ducks. We raise Kiko goats. This is a meat goat from New Zealand. We love the Kiko goat because they have excellent maternal instincts. They require little extra input, supplemental feed or medical care, and the babies are vigorous and fast growing. They're also incredibly friendly and easy to milk. And look at all those beautiful colors. We started our homestead with a handful of goats and one baby donkey that we rescued from an auction. He was named by our then 16 year old son who thought it was hilarious to name him Burro Ito for Little Burro. We then added three more donkeys, Gracie and Daisy, the, a mother and daughter pair, and Benji, who then became Burrito's companion. These three, Gracie, Daisy, and Benji, came to us from a good friend who wanted to visit them but could no longer keep them. The donkeys have been well-loved additions to our home and take good care of other animals. At first, we had 15 different breeds of heritage birds. But after the fire, we decided to narrow it down to just a couple. Right now, we have two different breeds of heritage Plymouth rocks. We have the partridge rock and the silver penciled rock. We love the rocks because they are very capable of hiding from predators. They're very smart and they're very good at laying eggs even in the winter. We currently raise Toulouse geese with plans to expand on our waterfowl operation this spring. They are wonderful guard birds. We usually keep one with every chicken coop. The rest are left to raise their young in the waterfowl pen. They are excellent foragers and never fail to let us know if there's an intruder. While many folks think geese are mean, we have discovered that if you spend a lot of time with your geese as babies, they bond to you and are very sweet. When the house is finished, we plan on keeping a mating group in the yard as an extra alert system for the household. If you like what you saw, click subscribe and click that bell so you can hear more from Mother Utter Farm. And we'll see you next time.